Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another hair tutorial and this one is going to be straight with no spikes because I'm kind of celebrating the fact that almost a year ago I put up a video that was my pixie cut with no spikes and that video has been my first to reach over a million views. So in celebration of that, I'm gonna do my undercut pixie with no spikes, but it's gonna be kind of different. So let's get started. Okay, so after towel drying my hair, I'm just going to roughly comb through it. And I did use a purple shampoo today, so it's a little extra dry when I do that. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream. I'm not gonna use a lot, but I love the smell of this. It's so wonderful and it also provides just a little bit more conditioner, a little bit more shine. And then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of Catwalk Root Boost. And I'm going to use this just here a little bit at the crown of the hair. And a little tiny bit right here. And why not put a little bit there too? Okay. And then I do think I'm gonna need a little bit of extra shine today. So I'm gonna add some Moroccan Argan oil, just one pump of that. And I'm going to use this to just to kind of start getting the hair going in the right direction here. All right, so a few details on my current haircut versus what it was a year ago. Um, the main difference, I have a slightly longer front here, and then I have this section underneath is shaved, so um, a clippered, and then also through the back, it's much shorter. So this is gonna end up looking a little bit different, and we're gonna be parting it on the opposite side after we blow dry. And now let's get started blow drying. I use high heat, high fan speed, and I do like to use the airflow concentrator as well. you saw I was blow drying my hair generally in this direction. I did do a little bit go in that direction, just add a little bit of fullness. Um, right here is going to be the part that might end up with a couple little spikes, but um, the back is going to be flat, but we're gonna make it look a little more interesting. So um, while it's going this direction, this is the side that my hair is actually cut to go. I'm actually going to take my flat iron and I am going to just kind of curl under this side. And I am also going to curl this right here. Now we are going to comb it over this way. And what it does is it kind of just adds a little bit 
of kind of a uh, swirl here in the front. That's the best way I can describe it. So uh, we did that little bit of curl there and now we're going to comb it over this direction and and then this little flipped up part, this I want to keep. So we are going to add just a little bit more of a bend right here and then just kind of wherever else you feel like it needs a little help going this direction. So sometimes once I've combed it over, then I'll go in right here at the part and with my flat iron going this direction, I'll pull it through. And sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, and then this section right here, I think we're going to actually flip this out just a little bit. Don't worry, we'll tame it. And then this section, I'm just gonna roughly comb through and I haven't put any product on yet, so I just want to get the hair going in the direction that I want it going in. And then we'll set it in place. So I'm just gonna go through a couple of these sections up here. Okay, so this side I'm going to go up and then kind of pull out the bottom, if that makes sense. Just give myself a little bit of a flip here, but I wanted a little bit of lift right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take our Enjoy Dry Wax, and if you've never used this, this can be a very stiff product. You can use your blow dryer to warm it up. Mine, as you can see, I am down to the bottom. Um, so it's pretty easy for me to scrape out some product. So I'm gonna go in with a pretty small amount, work it towards the tips of my fingers. And now I'm going to first go in the opposite direction. I know this seems <clears throat> counterintuitive, but we're going to give a little more body and lift and then go back to that side. And you can see it just kind of gave this much more kind of um, a little more fullness and textured look. And then you can just kind of piece in some of those pieces over. And then I'm gonna take a little more product and we're gonna figure out what we wanna do here at the crown. So I'm gonna work a little bit more, take a little more Enjoy Dry Wax. Tips of my fingers and just kind of work it through the back section and a little bit here on the sides. And as I work this over, I'm just kind of curling it over. You might have flyaways. I have um, kind of some strange, odd little curls and waves here in the front. So sometimes when I do it to the opposite direction, I have to add a little more enjoy, enjoy dry wax just to keep all those flyaways going in the right direction. All right, so now we have this kind of really fun kind of wave right here. And then this top section, um, let's see here, if we're really trying to be without spikes, like I said, mine is still pretty short right here. So I'm just not gonna stress about flattening that completely, but I am going to just try and blend it in better with the back section. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set everything in place with my Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. spritzes through the back here and then just one more underneath all 
Okay, and then I decided to just pull this through. I decided I didn't want that flipped up today. You can decide however you want it to look. Sometimes the hair decides what it wants to do, right? All right, um, let's see here. And then I think I'll just do a little spritz through the side. All right, so here is our finished look. And I've really enjoyed styling my hair like this. I just love that little bit of a flip here. I think it adds that little bit of interest. And then overall, the rest of it, even though it's flat, it still looks very textured. And then on the side here, this is the side I had my stylist take up just a little bit shorter or further with the undercut. So it just shows off that undercut part a little bit more by kind of piecing those sides down. So overall, I hope that those of you who have been looking for something new to do with your undercut pixie, hopefully this gave you another styling option. As always in the description box below, I will not only link all of the products that I used in today's video, but I will also leave a link to my Facebook page. If you go there, I will have still photos of each angle of this style today, as well as the various styles I've had over the last couple of years. I've had various forms of a longer pixie to the undercut pixie. So go there if you're looking for style inspiration or pictures to share with your stylist. Hopefully those pictures will be helpful to you. Thank you as always so much for being here for watching my videos. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll consider hitting that button below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!